welcome to the studio of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event. I'm delighted to say that our guest is Secretary General of the Digital Cooperation Organization, Dima Ahalia. Hello, welcome. Well, thank you for having me, Julian. It's great to be here and I'm very much excited. We're delighted to, uh, that you've taken time out of your busy schedule to come to speak to us. Let me start by asking, what are the primary goals and objectives of the DCO's participation in WSIS? Well, uh, great. Um, uh, before that, Julie and I would like to shed the light on what is DCO actually, and that would lead us actually to why we are here in, in WSIS. Uh, if you look at the digital economy, the growth of the digital economy in 2016, uh, 2023, it's about 16% of the overall global GDP and expected to grow very rapidly by 2030 to achieve a 70% contribution of digital platforms to the GDP. Now that comes with abundance of opportunities uh, for a lot of nations, uh, but to harness these opportunities, there's a lot of challenges for nations to transform very quickly because the agenda of digital transformation is huge from infrastructure to human capital development to reforms when it comes to uh, uh, policies and regulations, as well as attracting the right investments. No country or government can do that alone and needs the ecosystem to help and support. And one uh, main factor is cooperation and sharing best practices. Uh, and from that intention of sharing and, and coming together to help and support each other, uh, the Digital Cooperation Organization has been established in uh, 2020 as the outcome of the G20 presidency of Saudi Arabia. And uh, fast forward now, we represent 16 countries uh, from Asia, Europe and Africa with a total of 800 million in population. That by itself is a huge consumer base for any technology uh, uh, company. And the objectives are four main objectives of DCO. I would say the first is to accelerate the digital economy of our member countries and that by opening the borders uh, and allow, uh, allowing more contribution of startups and technology companies to cross border very easily. Uh, as well as attract the right investments to these member countries and share uh, best practices with one another. Um, the second objective would be uh, advancing digital transformation. Why should we reinvent the wheel? If there's a policy working for a country, let's share it. And if there is a solution that is working with another country, let's share it with the other, uh, uh, focusing on also human capital development as well. The third objective, which is the most uh, social element, looking at the con increasing the contribution of youth and women uh, 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 to the digital economy by moving them from job seekers to job creators uh, and creating a more vibrant environment for them to thrive and for them to contribute. It scares me when I read reports that 350 million women by 2030 will not have access to internet. And that's a big loss. For them just to contribute uh, and to be online, that can add a $500 billion to GDP in 2030. So that's a, that's a big lost opportunity. Last but not least, which is the essence of DCO, is being the platform that brings in the government's private sector and civil society together. And with that, coming all that ecosystem coming together, this is where the innovation and best practices comes out and where we facilitate the bridging the gap or the communication gap, let's say, between the innovators and between the policy makers. And uh, both of them contributing to find the solution. And this takes me now to WSIS and why we are here is because of that element, because we do, uh, we do need to bring all the uh, uh, ecosystem together to solve our challenges and find the right solutions. And here in WSIS, we find that to be a platform that brings in all the ecosystem together and to have that shared dialogue between us all to come to solutions, tangible solutions that could help accelerate uh, uh, the digital transformation of our member countries and then we see that digital economy prospering and growing. So you talk a lot there about the importance of mm -hmm. partnerships. 
How uh, does the DCO collaborate with the member states to enhance the digital economy? Tell me a little bit more about that. Oh, brilliant. Um, uh, cooperation is not just a word within the name of the Digital Cooperation Organization. Actually, it's a fundamental principle uh, that we work against. It's uh, um, uh, where in everything that we do, after uh, uh, measuring the gap and seeing exactly what is the need uh, in to support our member countries, uh, we create uh, digital space accelerators whom are frameworks or mechanisms, let's say innovative mechanism that brings in everyone together, the, as I said, the public sector, private sector and civil society to find solutions. Uh, uh, we facilitate that engagement to, to come out with, uh, and it comes out from it, uh, either um, policy recommendations, either agreements between countries or either initiatives. Uh, here in WSIS, we're celebrating the launch of uh, uh, the Women in ICT and Through ICT framework that came out from a digital space accelerator that 150 experts from all over the world participated, uh, as well as uh, 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 we have been uh, in three uh, uh, continents as well uh, to run these uh, accelerators. Uh, another outcome that we came up with, which is the misinformation principles. Uh, and that came out also from the accelerators we, we brought in everyone together. Uh, another um, way that we also uh, uh, collaborate or cooperate with our member states is that after we analyze the gaps and uh, that is needed for them to accelerate their growth in digital economy, we not just up there by telling them, oh, this is your challenge and this is your gap, but also we recommend the solution and we connect them with the right private sector by recommending a several options of private sector that can bridge that gap. And also we connect them with the financial institution. So it's a 360 uh, approach of how we help and support our member countries. And just briefly, the outcomes that you hope to achieve. I know you've touched on them before, but mm -hmm. what are the outcomes that you're hoping for from this event and look going forward? Well, I'm uh, I'm very much excited to see that uh, uh, digital uh, cooperation spirit uh, among uh, all the attendees uh, of WSIS, uh, and uh, not only in terms of governments, but we see that also in international organizations where digital, uh, uh, now everyone recognizes that digital is cross-cutting. It's not a luxury anymore. It's a necessity, and we can't go forward without cooperation. Uh, what I'm excited to see is that the language changed, the mindset changed, and everyone is willing to come to the table and to share best practices and to action. Uh, uh, and this is how uh, I see WSIS this year, and uh, hopefully we will celebrate next year with the outcomes of the achievements that uh, we, uh, uh, we agreed on this year. Secretary General of the Digital Cooperation Organization, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me, Julian. Thank you. And more to come on from the studio of the WSIS Plus 20 Forum high-level event here in Geneva.